There it is. Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I've been wanting to do this for a while and I haven't done it yet. Uh, really I've been busy, me being a one man show and plus, truth to be known, I'm getting older, getting a little bit lazier. You know, the always working thing is kind of, it gets old to work 16 hours a day. Those of you that getting into this, people that want to upgrade another tool, uh, Basically, basically a little bit for everybody. Um, so anyway, this is basically for you guys that uh, want to get into this or, or upgrade or whatever it might be, whatever might be the case. All right, so anyway, let's talk about some tools. Uh, I ran across a video that Cody made about an iScan 3 and uh, iScan SF, small factor or whatever that stands for. Uh, you know, I got some information on the ice scan. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I've never used one, so I can't judge it all that much, but I've noticed one thing. Right off the top, I've noticed one thing. That tool is made for somebody else to make money. Read what you're getting. Read it close. What they're deeming like they're programming that you that you get somebody else to do, you got to pay them uh, 200, 200 and a half to, to do a programming that you can do here for, I mean, you might as well make that money yourself. That tool to me is made for somebody else to make money. I don't know what Cody got going on with that, if he got uh, got paid, sponsored by them to make that video or what, what in the world is going on. But anyway, rambling on. Okay, let's move on to, uh, to my list, in my opinion, of tools that are useful, tools that are not useful, all right? So we're gonna go make a round over here and see what it is that I actually do and what it is that I got. I know the videos are kind of mixed up and y'all can't really tell uh, what, what all is going on. But anyway, uh, looking in this drawer right here, you see a Tech 2, you see the GM modules. Uh, you know, I've got various items in here. Uh, I got a Foxwell battery analyzer right there. Uh, I've got Ford tool. These are original, by the way. Those are genuine Fords. I got the Autel scope that separated. Uh, so I've got these tools here. I got some Toyota stuff in there and all that good stuff. Uh, moving on on that one, here is the Autel. Okay, so the Autel, in my opinion, the Ultra is unnecessary tool. It, it's a good tool and I like it, but it is not necessary to have that tool. Uh, this is somewhat a little bit my favorite tool is still the snap on it does have good capabilities I don't like the fact that it's still too slow it should be by now it should be faster you know uh, one tool I never liked never could get into it is this one right here an X31 uh, pad 2, I think that's a big piece of garbage. Same thing with the Bosch, the ADS-625. I think that's a piece of garbage. I really do. So what you all don't know about me, because I don't think I ever made a video, I've been doing locksmithing for quite some time. I got a couple of, uh, couple of machines, uh, obviously some stock laying right there. Uh, I do chips and all that good stuff. So moving on from that, so we've got this Autel here, that's a 608. Oh, 608 comes in the case right there. Okay, it's got uh, huh, almost everything you need to do keys. Uh, this one here is actually this one right here. This one right here is the X-Tool. That is actually a handy unit to have, but I'm not super impressed with it. Haven't had it very long, but I've had problems with it where it wouldn't do things. The Autel had no problem doing it. So there is a complaint in itself. Uh, for those of you doing keys, you know what that little unit right there is. I shouldn't even have to say what it is. That's the X-Horse tool, and I added the Autel. Garbage. The Autel, I don't care what anybody says. My opinion, garbage. That tool is useless. Uh, you know, opinions, opinions, opinions. That's just my opinion. But anyway, so you go around, you know, if you're doing this type of automotive work, you know, where you have to program uh, a lot of different makes, a lot of different models, you know, your best bet is, is always going to be the factory tools to do programming. You know, I do a ton of GM, I do a ton of Ford, uh, rarely, well, not, I'm not going to say rarely, I do Honda frequently 
Toyota, not so much. I don't get a whole lot of them. And as far as, you know, the other ones, uh, Volkswagen gets you into a different into a different ballpark. The uh, eye scan tool that they're advertising, oh, it's so great for, for the European market. Well, I disagree. For one, I asked a question, the sales guy, I was talking to a sales guy for some time, and I asked him a question, so what about a seat module on a, on a 15 Passat? Uh, now, we have to program that, you have to pay for it, 250 bucks. I said, wow, 250 bucks, I have to pay for that, huh? I said, I got a software tool right here. Come on out of here. VCDS, that's the HexNet. I can program a seat module or anything else in between, perfectly fine with that. You know, I don't have to pay. I pay for the tool, you know, and that, that's about it. Support, you get, you do pay for support on this, but you get so many tokens that, that come with it, and if you know a little bit about it, you can get by with that for a long time. Uh, the other tool that I've been using here lately, kind of like it, is the Super Goose. That's another great tool. I think it's a useful tool, no more than what they cost. I think they got a lot of capabilities. I like them. Of course, the, uh, the, the scope stuff on the auto, if you're really getting into, into that kind of stuff, if you have enough diagnostics and all that good stuff going, uh, going on, uh, the auto is not bad. It's, it's a great tool, but it's, I think that the ultra is a little bit overkill. Now, I did, mine is EV. I have the EV stuff with it as well. So is it necessary? No. Here? No. Absolutely not. This area is, is pretty rural. Uh, we don't see a lot, of the, uh, a lot of the EV stuff either. At least I don't. You know, that may be different for different shops in the area. Of course, I can't speak for everybody. And uh, there may be some specialized shops, you know. The, this, this shop here is not. You know, I work every make, every model, anything that I can do, you know. Uh, Mercedes and all that good stuff, they, they uh, uh, ice scan pride themselves on, well, we can put a headlight in on a Mercedes. Boo-hoo. You know how many headlights I put in a Mercedes? Zero. Zero. Exactly zero. Uh, for the fully loaded uh, version of that tool, if you get all the trimmings, it's over $5,000. Maybe maybe even $6,000. Don't remember now, but uh, anyway, yeah, it does some things, but anyway, uh, here we go. That's a short overview of the tools that I use every day. Uh, with the exception of another portable cutter in there, key cutter, uh, yeah, that's about the extent of it. I mean, what what you see is is uh, what I got. That's that's basically what's in the shop. That's my uh, the extent of my capabilities. You know, I've got battery maintainers, of course, all that good stuff. Uh, snap on. Let's get back on that snap on. That's the Zeus Plus right there. It's a great. I think it's a great tool, but uh, overpriced. You know, the, the snap-on tools are going to be overpriced. It, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't matter how you look at it. The snap-on tools are going to be overpriced. No ifs, ands, buts about that. You know, you're not going to, you're not going to buy a snap-on and, and get it cheap. Uh, you can get a used one. I mean, I don't want anybody else's, uh, anybody else's stuff. I choose not to. I thought I'd seen a mouse walking across, and I did see a mouse walking across. That's what I've been staring at. But anyway, uh, you know, the, other than that, I mean, I like the snap-on. The, the scope part is is nice. The uh, guided component tests been around for a long, long time. I like them. Uh, again, that's an argument all on its own. If you know what you're doing, you don't need guided component tests, but it does give you a guide on what's up, you know. It shows you wires, wire coloring. There's a lot of a lot of information there with a couple of clicks that otherwise it's going to take a little effort to, to find. So, I mean, that's worth something. To me, it is. Uh, yeah. So, I'm going to cut the video right here. I, like I said, I've been wanting to do that on the tools, on the scan tools, that is, you know, the stuff that I use. There's some odd and end other stuff, you know, like battery testing stuff, some... Uh, uh, I do have some mileage correction tools, and no, I'm not going to roll anybody's mileage back if that's going to be a question. Uh, these are mainly for, I had a problem with a Hummer here uh, a couple of days ago. I had to correct the mileage on a Hummer because when uh, another shop, they put a body control module in, and uh, needless to say, it jumped the truck 60,000 miles and not favorable either. So it ended up at 200,000 miles, and the truck don't have 200,000 miles. So anyway, I'm going to cut the video here. Uh, 
questions, comments on the tools, you know, if you got questions uh, for capabilities, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, drop me a line. Like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how good you can see that, but anyway, uh, I made the claims on the tools. Here is uh, next day. I need this tool, okay? Well, I need a tool. Uh, transponder functions. Uh, So click on transponder functions. We got transponder generation. So I need to work with a chip for a Ford truck. It's an older Ford truck and the Ford D uh, does not, 4D family on the truck does not work. It has to be a 4C family. Uh, transponder generation, you go to the Ford, the only option that you got, 4D63, okay? 4D63 is nothing. I go to search transponder and search transponder, there is no search. Auto, crap. This is absolute garbage. Garbage is better than what you got here. That might hit, it might work for a lot of things and it might be a basic tool, but it, as a whole, this thing is garbage. I think they're trying to mimic uh, the tool. I think is trying to mimic the X Horse tool, but let me tell you, they're far from it. Uh, note on the X on the X Horse tool. Okay, we go to generate transponder and we can do search by car model you go to ford uh it shows the uh the 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 4d 4d as well but we can search a chip and you see the searches i did here the 4c so we go to the the list here id 4c and there that is so not to mention it works the x the x source tool works with a lot of different chips so i just generated a 4c chip here you know that that the autel is not capable of generating why that's basic stuff. I mean, we're only going to support the new stuff. Well, guess what? There's still some out, uh, some old stuff out there. You know, some older vehicles out there. Uh, put support in there for it. You know, and the the uh, chips. I'm gonna tell you on the Autel. I'm not against Autel because I love my my IM608. I love that tool. But that piece of garbage right there, and that's really what I think it is. Uh, it's not worth the money. I mean, it can't do basic stuff like that. I mean, they're trying to mimic. Uh, another tool and they're far from far from doing it just my opinion